up, everybody? Happy 2023, and welcome to the Let's Rock Podcast, and I am your co-host, Philosophical. I am your co-host, Jay Echo. Hello, everybody. Welcome to 2023. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. As you can see, man, we got a returning guest, man, really good guy, really re- one of our first guests that came up and supported us, man, and, you know, we're finally getting around to get him back on the show. What's going on, Seals, man? How you doing? Man, everything's everything, man. God is good, man. We doing good. I see you guys looking looking great. I already told my boy Jay. My boy Jay, his beard is way fuller than it was last time. <laughs> that means yeah. he's making good, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know. Y'all look great, man. So, uh, yeah, it's good to be back, man. Yeah, man. You can call that old man wisdom, man. Old man wisdom. <laughs> there you go. Put some hair on your chest, man. And yeah. Take yeah. it off your head and put it on your face. That's yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So we're going to we're going to go right into it, man. I, I want to kind of discuss our very first question. You know what I mean? Being blessed to being married. Right. Um, and and and, I, and I'm and i wondering if a lot of men are going through this, being able to marry someone that accepts you, that understands you, that's willing to support you and vice versa. You know what I mean? That's a that's a very hard thing seems to be starting off with dating and relationships and even um, going into marriage. Right. Um, so I kind of want to, I kind of want to get into that. Right. One of the, one of the greatest things that's happened to me was getting married. Right. Um, and not only getting married, but also who I married. Right. And just feeling accepted just brings a different tranquility and peace and understanding and being able to just, you know, you're going to have disagreements, you're going to have issues, but it's, it's just, being able to have that foundation. I know we spoke a lot about that on that show, right? So I know there are a lot of men out there that are going through this, right? That haven't really set that foundation. So first question I have is like, can you kind of tell us a little the need for validation and how it influences a man's choices in life and in relationships? Yeah, most definitely, man. I feel like validation is is uh, huge for us, uh, uh, you know, men, men and women. But when it comes to, uh, specifically with men, I feel like probably 95% of the things we do is to get validation, uh, is to get <laughs> acceptance or some kind of liking from uh, a specific group, most times it being women. <laughs> uh, I, I, was, <laughs> I was talking about it with my boys. Yo. I was just thinking, I was just thinking in, uh, uh, out loud and I was like, yo, y'all realize everything we do right now is to, to get women. Like literally we, we want to get it more money why? To impress women or to buy a house or to get a car. But why are you getting those things for a woman? You know, when are we going to do things to validate ourselves? Um, and, and that's the the key. I feel like a lot of us men should start to uh, work on, start to experiment with, start to invest in. Um, because those things that we, we, we purchase and, and uh, lust for and, and try to acquire for women, it's usually temporary, bro. Like I, I could tell you 10 years ago, the things I wanted 10 years ago, I don't want now. It's mm-hmm. because, you know, those things were temporary, bro. They didn't have no, no real, uh, no real weight to them. You know, you, as men, I feel like we should go after things and invest in things, specifically validation. That's going to be here for the rest of our lives. And uh, validation is just that. Mm-hmm. So like you said, you're happily married. You found a woman that, that, that validates you. Uh, that shows you that you are valid, uh, a woman that shows you that you are worthy. That's what we should go after, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's not about, mm-hmm. it's not about you know trying to impress uh, chicks that look like models. <laughs> and to be real with you, they're fake themselves. Most of them are fake themselves. They got fake bodies and and, and and fake motives and fake intentions for you, bro. Everything out here is fake, man. Mm-hmm. And my uncle always tells me, like, bro, when you find a good one, stick with her, because mm-hmm. that's the realest thing you're gonna get in this fake world. Um, and validation, man, it, it's, it's, it's the reason for a lot of things and a lot of decisions we make, man. So I, I guess I want to add a kind of a secondary question uh, to that. Like, can you give some signs of how, you know, a man can kind of find that validation, not only within himself, but within his partner? Yeah, bro. I feel like the first thing you need to do is find, find out who you are. Um, when you find out who you are, like who you truly are, mm-hmm. you'll figure out the things that you like and dislike, right? Mm-hmm. Um, that's the first part. The second part is being honest with yourself when you find out who you are. So once you identify yourself, now you got that locked down. Now you need to stay strict 
to those things that are about yourself. So if, for instance, me, uh, I like things that are, uh, that I can invest in. I'm a creator. So I like to create. Therefore, I need my woman to be uh, a supportive of that. I don't need her to be a creator, but I need her to um, support me in being that creator. I hate to be in situations or with people that um, don't vibe with what I do or don't agree with what I what I what I what I'm about. Because okay. what's the point of being with someone who's not about what you're about? So why put yourself in that position? Why be with someone who is the opposite of what you are and what you represent? So once you figure out who you are, figure out your dislikes and 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 likes, the things that 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 motivate your drive and your hunger, you need to go with that. So uh, as men, we need to figure out and be honest with ourselves on who we are. Get that out. We'll know the things that validate us, and we'll go after the things that validate us because those things represent who we are. Um, a lot of our men today, we go after things that don't represent us. <laughs> like, and, and, and that's why you see a lot of these men in, in so much depression. Uh, that's why you see suicide rates among men, especially minority men, skyrocketing ever since COVID because they really had to, they had to come to the realization of who they are. And when they came to that realization, it was too late because they surrounded themselves with things that didn't represent them. Yeah. And now they feel like they're lost, you know? So that, that was, those two things I feel like are paramount for us brothers out here uh, to, to learn how to validate ourselves. So I have a, I have a follow-up question to what you said, just asked you were, uh, you were talking about men basically coming to a point where they realize that it's it's too late to backtrack do you do you actually think there is a point of no return or do you think there's always there's always a position where it's like all right it'll be a little bit harder but i can turn this around yeah man i like i i, I didn't i didn't want to uh mis uh say the wrong word in there but there's always a point of return there's always hope um and i believe in that because i have faith um, I'm, I'm huge on faith, bro. If it wasn't for faith, I, I tell you brothers right now, I wouldn't be here. Mm -hmm. Um, I feel like when you hit the rock bottom, when you hit that, that, that the lowest of lows in life, you can't go any lower. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I always say like the lowest point of my life was hell. Like I went through hell in the lowest point of my life, but I knew that it can't get no worse than this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And that's why I was able to, you know what? I can look up and see that there's a light at the end of the tumble. I need to work on getting to that light because I'm literally at the bottom of the bucket, but I know there's a hole at the top of that bucket and I can get out of it eventually. There's no hole at the bottom. Like you're at the bottom. That's it. The, the bottom isn't infinite. You know what I mean? So that, get, that gave me hope. And I hope that gives um, our brothers out there hope too. Um, and sometimes I feel like, you know, um, when you are at the bottom, um, that is the biggest inspiration that is the biggest uh motivation to change yourself and change your circumstances and um and validation is a big part of that i will i will kind of add to that man you spoke on faith and being at the bottom and i tell you right now you know based off of experience and jay knows me man i've been there mm -hmm. and oh, yeah. i equate yeah. that i equate that to being at the bottom as 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 god you yeah. know calling you yeah you know what I mean? That's your phone call. Pick up the phone. You're either going to answer and understand what he's trying to say to you, or yeah. you're going to continue to be at the bottom. And yeah. I know with me, you know, I kept sending God the voicemail. Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. It's just true. And when I say I kept sending God the voicemail was the fact that I kept repeating the same things. Yeah. Right? Putting others, you know, um, value in mm. front of mine. And I know a lot of men can equate and I know a lot of men can understand to the fact that, you know, when COVID came, you know, what happened during COVID, right? Um, you're in a house with your partner, you know what I mean? You're getting to know that person and you start to realize and understand, is this person, you know, for me? Because COVID made people realize and I even say, you know, you had to really pivot from doing some of the same things you were doing, right? You couldn't yeah. just... You couldn't just 
you know, all right, I don't like this person. I don't like the person I'm with. Get up and go to work, and you're gone for eight to twelve hours, and you don't have to deal with it. No, we were you forced know. to sit with ourselves, finally, yeah, right. which we Correct. haven't had time to do. Right, and especially right. women too. It was the, the the divorces was a record high. I heard in 2020, 2021. Because <laughs> these people, these couples were together for the first time in their lives 24 mm-hmm. 7. Mm-hmm. And then they realized they came to the realization of who they were. They came yeah. to the realization of the things they didn't like and the things they liked, along in cohesion with their partner, who was also simultaneously realizing themselves. That's a that's a storm of just <laughs> confusion yeah. and realization. And a lot of people broke up because of it. Not like, only that. Not only that, just the uptick in therapy, couples therapy, marriage yeah. therapy, yeah. Uh, individual therapy. Um, I, I, I will say that, you know what I mean? Just just the numbers rising in that, you know what I mean? Being able to kind of, and I commend a lot of couples that were at that point, right? And I've kind of started from square one mm-hmm. to understand how could we make this work, right? Sure. It was almost like you were forced to, you know, value each other in a different way that you know what I mean weren't doing in the beginning because there were so many distractions right you, yeah. you got kids you got work you're trying to strive to for individual goals marriage goals and sometimes man when certain things don't work you resent each other for yeah, whatever man. so I will say to a lot of a lot of couples and 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 people out there in general you know that have survived that storm but are still going through it you know what I mean? Know that you're not alone, right? We all have been through it, right? Um, so I, I just want to commend, you know, not only, you know, a lot of our men out there, but also couples that are saying, hey, we're going to get through this. What do you think? Do you think the reason that divorces and, and separations uh, rose is because there are more people who aren't willing to uh, to do what we're talking about and like sit and work with it, go to therapy, you know, persevere to create the kind of relationship they want. Or do you think it's just a matter of they hit, they, they all realized that they weren't compatible. I think it's a mixture of both, man. I I honestly do. I feel like there were, there were couples that um, maybe wanted to make it work. Maybe they, maybe maybe they tried, you know, but because there weren't a lot of facilities open and, 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 um, you know, establishments open, they had to do therapy inside the home, you know? So, um, and it just didn't work. You know, uh, I feel like COVID and, and staying at home exposed a lot of the, 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 the ugliness of a lot of relationships. Um, and I'm gonna be real as always, I feel like a lot of people's relationships are, 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 are consisted of escaping their relationship. Um, I, I can say, I know people personally who, <laughs> stay at their jobs and they are married. They stay at their jobs after hours because they don't want to go home, but they also don't want to give up on their relationship. So it's kind of like, you know, from me outside looking in, I'm just like, yo, that is a crazy situation. I would hate to not want to go home to my wife and kids, you know? But at the same time, they feel like they can't give up on that because they will look, you know, they will be judged. They will look crazy. It just won't be a, a healthy situation for their family. But um, but also uh, like 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 uh, like you said, I give uh, a lot of respect to those who try and try, and they stick to their vows and say, you know, to death do us part. Like we're gonna do this, you know. That that takes a lot of courage. Mm-hmm. That takes a lot of honesty, man. Um, yeah. So I, I I honestly feel like there's a mixture of the both, and also there there aren't a lot of people who are as mature either. Um, mm-hmm. There's a lot of people who who thrive on fear. And the first sign of, of, of weakness or the first sign of um, things going wrong, they leave, they run, they out of here. You know what I'm saying? And that happens to uh, grown people too, you know? So um, I feel like there was just a mixture of just people being, you know, uh, exposed to their current situations to the core of their truths, man. And um, a lot of people can handle the truth, like the famous movie line. <laughs> uh, a lot of people cannot handle that truth, man, and it yeah. hits them in their gut, and they they they're out. They're, you yeah. know, yeah, they're out. Of here, so, I will I will kind of add to that because I feel like, um, I think you, you spoke a good thing as far as exposing the truth, right? And I'll even speak from, I'll even call it an expectation, right? Mm-hmm. Marriage brings certain expectations, 
right? Marriage brings certain results. So sometimes it's going to happen, right? When those expectations or results aren't what you're seeing Mm -hmm. as a man or as a woman, but that other person sees it and you see it as a failure, I feel like sometimes that can cause a serious rift in a marriage or relationship, right? Or even friendships, whatever, right? I feel like, you know, as far as like, I know people that, you know, are afraid to go home, right? Um, And that kind of goes to our our next question in a few minutes as far as like not wanting to talk about the, the, the issues, right? Not wanting to go home and talk about the issues, not wanting to go home and say, hey, what can we do to fix this, right? Uh, and I feel like it goes back to maybe they're afraid of the response. They're afraid of the result. They're afraid of the continual uh, being spoke about, the the aggression, however that you communicate, right? Um, and it also gets to a point where sometimes when you've been with someone so long, right, and you communicate at a certain, at a certain point, it mm-hmm. becomes resentment to the point like, is this going to change? Is the situation going to change? Um, so I, I truly feel like, man, man, if you're going through a point right now where you're afraid to go home, um, but you want to work things out, I, I feel like maybe take that extra st- step to, to, to lay that foundation to say, all right, you know, you can't do this by yourself, mm-hmm. right? What can, what can I do to, fix the situation we're in together in this right right what, what do you need right and this is what i need out of this right. right and i think that goes back to validation right right um so yeah go ahead jay so i mean we we've sort of we've sort of touched on it a little bit but um what's it called so <clears throat> we we've talked about respect we've talked about validation Mm -hmm. um and of course there's there's uh communication but uh besides besides communication besides respect besides validation what do you think because we've talked a lot about why we think these relationships broke down so besides communication besides respect besides validation why do you what do you think what are some keys to a successful relationship Oh man, off the bat, man, transparency. <laughs> mm-hmm. Transparency is the first thing while you were talking that just popped up in my head, man. Cause <laughs> a lot of a lot of people out here live in lies, man. They live in lies, bro. Smiles on their face, but they sad as hell on side, you know, inside, man. Like they're not being transparent and now they feel like they're trapped within that lie, you know. So uh uh for instance, just just being honest with your partner, bro. Like and that's the thing, like a lot of us gotta realize, man, our our wives, our husbands, our girl, whatever, that is supposed to be your life partner. When you are married, that is your life. Y'all doing this together. And like you said, Phil, like this is uh we're supposed to be doing this together. You're not alone. Yeah, like you are literally not not alone. I feel like the first sign that things aren't successful when you're married or in a dedicated relationship is if you feel alone in a marriage that is crazy that is opposite of what it's all about you might as well be single then you know yeah Mm -hmm. um so i'm always even even like you know a level before you know marriage even when you're dating even when your relationships announce what you are looking for but like be real with what you want because i don't care how good a a woman looks man i don't she could be a, a 20 out of 10 man if she does not fit me then it won't work i don't want it if she is not for me what's the point of being with someone you don't want but you but you want her because she looks good that's crazy bro (laughs) (laughs) that's crazy bro and 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 even even for women being with men for their money or being with men for the things they could do for them okay that's cool but is that what you want if if that man gets into a, a a car accident and he's disabled all those things he was doing for you that that brought you in, those are done. So now what? What, what are you going to do now? You didn't want him. So I feel like when you are transparent with your woman, that is the first step to have a successful relationship. You got to be 110% honest. I mean, a lot of us out here just living lives, but we're giving 50% of what we want. I mean, 
but playing devil's advocate though i mean what are the uh what's it called what are the things that we say we want? well <clears throat> what are the things that we say we want like for dudes it's like all right give me give me a woman who, who's got a good body who's non-confrontational all of this sort of stuff mm -hmm. um and who will basically bring me peace so meanwhile well that's what we actually want but what we say we want is oh give me a body give me uh you know somebody who's 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 down for sex all the time and who uh who knows how to cook and so, so i'm glad you brought that up because there's a difference between wants and needs i made i made a couple i made a couple videos on this right that's there's a difference between a, a fast food and soul food a lot of a lot of dudes out here they are going after the fast food they're going after the things they can get quickly uh hit it and quit it the things that are cheap but they taste good those are once those that's fast food what you need what we need is soul food something that's going to last something that's good for us like truly good for us not not just taste good but it is good um so a lot of those things that we go after like wanting a woman with a good body and bro first of all no, most of us aren't going to have a good body <laughs> at some point in our lives we literally grow yeah. we change all of this is not how we look now is not going to happen going to be how we look in 10 years man mm. it is what it is so we are vested in things that don't last and like i said at the beginning of the video we're wanting things that don't last that are temporary we can't we got to stop going after things that are temporary yo and go after the things that we need for our health and our wealth and, and our insanity, our sanity and our, the things that will be here forever. You know what I'm saying? So you're gonna, you're gonna find dudes like that. They're gonna go after those things that don't mean nothing after a while, you know? You gotta go after the things that mean <clears throat> everything. I will, I will add to that, right? Uh, and I'm glad you said that, Seals, because from experience, in the experience I am right now, and I know this is a very thing, hard thing for a lot of men to understand, including myself, because I'm stubborn. I got an ego. I got pride, right? Mm -hmm. A good woman will not only help you, not only encourage you, but she will tell you what you need, mm -hmm. right? Yep. But it, but it takes, it takes, it, including myself, right? And, you know, there's always a tug and pull. There's always, you know, like, chauvinistic i know there's you know there's a lot of like men you know being a provider and hey i'm machismo and all that right but you look at some of these powerful men out here right that are doing it the right way they got a wife at home telling them what they need to do and you know what a lot of these men are doing they may say, nah, I, don't, I, I mean, including myself, they may say, hey, nah, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do that. But a woman, a good woman, understand what you need, and you may fight back and be a rebel towards it, but a good woman will know that you're going to do what I say anyway because mm -hmm. you trust her. Yeah. And that's the point. And that's what a lot of men run from, right? Yeah. From the fact that we don't look internally, we want the bad chicks, we want the the, the models, the facades, as we we spoken about, right? But you're not understanding the um, the the maintenance, the the what is this person like? You know what I mean? What, what is your what is her future toward towards? Uh, how does it align with your future, right? right. Um, and I feel like that's what a lot of men miss, right? They miss on what's right now instead of tomorrow. Yeah, man. Right? And and that's the missing key, man. Find you a woman that you can trust, that trusts your judgment, but also can articulate and understand what you need. You may not like it at that point, but you're going to go down that road and you're going to appreciate that for her. Yeah, man. Right? A lot of, and, I, and, I, and I'll make this last point. A lot of times you, you spoke about like the models, the Instagram models, we go out and do things and buy things for them because of the way they look. Mm -hmm. Don't you want to go out and buy something and do something for the woman because of the value she brings to your life? Yeah, man. She helped you get there, you know? And yep. if you and if you got to rock bottom, and if, like you said, if you got to hell, 
she's gonna hold your hand right there with you and yeah. know that you guys are gonna move you guys are gonna get back to the way things were together yeah, man. Part of the reason why I wanted to play devil's advocate here is because uh, I uh, recently got pulled into uh, a lot of, uh, uh, let's be honest about it, a lot of red pill stuff. You know, some of the more hardcore like, oh, what uh, what value does a woman provide besides, uh, what's it called, besides her body? And even then, that's not really, you know, some of the more hardline stuff like that, which mm-hmm. is it's not it's not a healthy place to be honestly but <clears throat> what you're talking about with uh the value added i think i think one of the things that i ultimately took away from all of that stuff once i backed to what like once i took a step back and was like all right so what are these people if i if i sift through all of the the anger and the 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 machismo like you were saying and all of that stuff what does it sound like these people are saying? And it sounds like they're saying they are not getting what they need from their partner. But I'm also, I'm also not hearing anything deep about what they need from their partner. You know, Mm -hmm. it's all surface level stuff. Mm -hmm. So I mean, we we talk all the time about yes, we we want to we want to we want a woman with a body, all of that sort of stuff. But uh, we, when we were talking to, with Mr. Lacario, he was talking about there is there are different ways that you can be attracted to someone, and mo- the the easiest way to be attracted to someone is physically. But most of us, like like we're saying, most of us don't ever make it past that point when we're considering a relationship or a potential partner or whatever the case may be. So I, I, uh, transitioning over to attraction, right? Um, a lot of your videos lately, right, have been about the attractive self, mm-hmm. you know, finding your attractive self, uh, becoming more of your attractive self, right? So could you explain a little about what that means, you know, to you? Right. You know I mean? And letting everybody know what that means. Yeah, man. Uh, attraction has been a, a, an evolving journey for me, man. Like, as y'all know, you know, the things we thought were attractive when we were 20 to 30 to four, like it always changes. Right. Um, but the, the more mature I get and the older I get, I realize the true attraction is who you truly are, man. That like I like, like, like I said, the outside is going to break down, man. This is skin, bro. This is tissue thin, thin man. Like we were made to to grow and break down. That's just the natural evolution of being a human. So why invest in something out on the outside? Um, our personality is the richest thing about us. Uh, I, no one else can be you. And that is why it's so unique and rare and valuable because no one can buy your person. No one can buy. People can try to copy your style. People could try to to emulate who you are, but they will never be you. And that is so valuable. So I've been tra- talking about attraction lately because that's what's attraction is all about, man. Like when, when what I look for in a woman now today, based on what I look for on, on a woman in my college days, it's totally different. In my college, I was looking at it like how you was talking about, yo, she bad, bro. I, I'm looking, I'm looking for a dime. I'm looking for a thick, think you know whatever hips and all that because that's what makes me feel good right but nowadays i'm looking for a wife bro i'm looking for a woman i can spend the rest of my life with and and, you know when you when you start to get more money when you start to you know increase your game in life as a man Mm -hmm. you want to be with someone you can trust that with man like you see a lot of dudes fall victim to women who take them for all their riches because they were attracted to their outside versions bro they weren't looking for women for for who they truly were um and i feel like uh for for modern men for men of today's generation because society and social media has poured millions and billions of dollars into commercials promoting attraction all those things are about the outside you see all these commercials they're about how we look 
they're about our hair, our skin, or what we what we can show we have. But none of those commercials are about the inner self, the 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 soul, the personality. None of them are promoting that because it's not fun. It's not sexy. Uh, showing who you truly are isn't sexy, you know. Yeah, that's what that's the society we live in, bro. But in our worlds, we gotta f- find that true attraction in a woman who is beautifully internally and and when you are beautiful from the inside that will never go away that's something that can't break down like our bones and our skin and the way we look right now when your soul is beautiful that is eternal bro Mm. so um i've been realizing that lately and i'm like i need to talk about this because if you bro (laughs) if you if you go to youtube and you type how to become more attractive you're going to get a million of the same types of videos do this do that, wear this, purchase this. And they're all talking about what you could do on the outside, man. Mm -hmm. But how to be attractive is all on the inside, cleaning up your soul, cleaning up your your temple, um, uh, cleaning up your habits, um, rectifying your mistakes, rectifying yourself. Um, The little things that we all need to work on, that's what builds our attraction. Mm -hmm. And when you are, when you become your best self, the best version of yourself, you will attract that person that is for you. And when you find yourself, when you become more beautiful inside, when you realize like when you work on yourself, you will start to fend away people who aren't for you. Like you ever had a woman be like, oh, you think you, you think you too good. Oh, you got, you, you got a, um, you think you're the man. Yes, I am the man. <laughs> I, that's what I've been working on all my life to become to this, to this point. I am the man. Yeah, thank you. But people will be intimidated by that. Yeah. You don't need those people. If people if people do not like your personality, it is okay. They aren't for you and you aren't for them. Move aside. Because now you start to filter out everything and everybody that isn't for you who don't match your attraction. I, I, I who don't like match your beauty. <laughs> yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's very well said. Very well said. Yeah. Um, you, you had a response, Jack? Like you're talking about the, the personal path and the personal journey. So my question then is, you know, like you said, it is very easy to get to get distracted from that that personal journey. You know, you you make a little bit of progress and uh and and something something new and shiny shows up and it's just like, you know, I've 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 done my work and you're you're back off the path, whether it's a whether it's a weight loss journey or a or a self improvement journey, or a career journey, or whatever the case may be. So, uh, what what are some of the ways you think we can uh, we can keep ourselves from being distracted from that that internal journey to make ourselves more attractive? Bro, real talk. I feel like we can't avoid distractions. <laughs> I just <laughs> like I'll tell you a personal thing, man. I've been trying to lose this stomach fat that I got from COVID. <laughs> <laughs> for the past two years, bro. And every time I get inspired or excited, I'm like, all right, bro, I'm about to go to the grocery store. I'm about to get vegetables, fruits. I'm about to get my protein shake, bro. I'll go hard for a whole two weeks. And it, it'll take one night of binging or eating some crap I don't need or going out. And yeah. I fall off, bro. And that's just part of the human experience, man. So what Thank I you. recommend is just to remain focus on your end goal bro so what i do i got this big calendar i put it on my wall in my kitchen um i i put it on a place where i'm always at every single day so that i can see it i'm a visual learner right so i got this big calendar and i break down my goals by months weeks and days and what i do is every day i have a task it don't have to be big it could be small tasks sometimes it could be just me recovering and resting not doing nothing that is productive um I break down every task that I get and I check off everything that I do. And I make sure before I go to bed, I check off each task each day. And those days lead to weeks and those weeks lead to months. And by the end of the year, you did everything you were supposed to do. So when it comes to the personal journey, especially with women and in relationships and attraction, you want to make sure that you do whatever it takes to attract the, the, the woman that is for you and not the woman that you, you like. Like mm. you'll find a lot of things that you like, man. Like liking is so easy. Mm. 
like, oh man, but to love something is a totally different thing. And people also confuse love with like, that's another issue that we got. <laughs> You'll hear people say, I love this person. I love when he, no, you don't. You like it. You, yeah. you, 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 you enjoy watching it or being with it. You enjoy it's a difference between that and loving something, bro. So um, that's another thing. We got to get the definition of like and love uh, and love down pat, man. <laughs> and so anyway, when you figure out the things that you love, that will keep you on track to your goals. Point. I, I, I feel like, you know, the way you kind of explained how to deal with distractions and breaking it down, um, you know, that's a great way. Because I feel like now I'm going to have to try to adapt that towards me because i'm kind of that same way like all right what are my goals how can i get there you know what i mean so i feel like sometimes we look at a goal and if it's not reached we view it as failure and that's crazy right because and not to cut you off no go ahead i was i was told by uh a guy who's he's i consider my mentor but he's doing great things in life so he and one day he asked me he was like yo what's your goal for this year and i think it was like 2021 and i was like bro i want i want to be a hundred thousand there he said, like, all right, cool, but but what's your goals? Like, how are you going to get there? And then you start to think like, damn, how am I supposed to reach this goal? So then I said, all right, I'm going to uh, do more content, right, on YouTube. I'm going um, to invest more. I'm going I'm to keep my job. He's like, okay, so what are the smaller details to make those things happen? So then you realize like, dang, this big dream that we have has to be broken down. Because if we just focus on the big thing, we'll never get there because there's smaller things that lead up to that. And we try to, we try to skip all those small things to get and go straight to the big thing. Like, bro, you can't be a millionaire without becoming a thousand there first. Mm. How are you going to get that first thousand? Okay. How are you going to get that first 10 K? Okay. And so that's when it changed my whole mindset. Like, Oh wow. Okay. It's bigger than that, man. Yeah. 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 And, I, and those, I love that you're saying this because you know we were we were just talking about how you know we we get distracted by the shiny things or the big things, and the reason we get distracted by the shiny thing is because it's the most visible, but we don't see the smaller details that make up that big shiny thing. So, like you said, if it's oh I wanna I wanna earn a million dollars, it's like well. You gotta work to you you gotta work your way up to earning a million dollars. Otherwise, the second you get a million, you're gonna lose it. You're gonna blow or, it. Or oh, I want to uh uh like I was having this conversation about um writing uh with uh, with somebody because I want to uh, I'm trying to write. And uh she she said to me, like, hey, I uh I used to have this same issue. Until all I did one day was like, you know what? I'm just going to write 2,500 words tonight. Mm. Doesn't matter what it is. I'm just going to write 2,500 words. Mm. And so she would she would just consistently write 2,500. And she didn't always hit 2,500, but it's like, all right, I wrote something. Wow. So by the time... By the time it was like, oh, I just want to. So there's this, uh, there's this event called. Uh, I can't, I can't remember exactly what it's called, but it's, uh, it's essentially an event in November where you write one whole book through the month. Wow. She was like, so by the time I got to that event, I had already like it was easy for me to sit down and write something, even if I didn't have a concept, even if I didn't have a. Uh, even if I didn't have a an idea of where I wanted to go, because I had built that habit in already. I had already built that muscle. So it was just like, all right, this is what this is what I need to do. Let's just go ahead and do it. Okay. And it's the small steps that lead up to that big step of, hey, I, I wrote a book, or hey, I earned a million dollars, or hey, I invested, I invested a hundred thousand in a company, or whatever the case may be. Right. Actions become habits. Yeah, I also think that we look at some of these goals from an outspot perspective of what someone else has done, right? Right. Uh, and like for myself, like I, I I put down our goals is for what I would like as a podcaster, right? And it made me think, like after you saying it, like how am I going to do it, right? And I looked at it like, man, I can just put out content. I'm like, I'm doing that now. So 
Then I have to think about, all right, you know, should I tweak this type of content I'm putting out? Should I tweak the amount of times I put it out? You know what I mean? Like, I like the next goal was like, man, how am I going to get our podcast out to more people? Right. Mm-hmm. And, and, it, and it, the reason why I say that is because it makes you break down, like you said, like, how are you going to do these things? Right. Right. Uh, meaning to temper, maybe temper those, some of those expectations. Right. right? To sometimes we look at some of our favorite YouTubers, right? To say, man, they got it. They got 200,000, 300,000 subscribers, right? Mm-hmm. The question is, is that they're not going to tell you directly how they got there, right? They're not going to tell you that, yeah, I just did this. I just did that. They're not going to tell you, oh, by the way, I started out with a thousand. I got to a thousand this amount of time. I got to 2000 this amount of time. You know what I mean? They're not going to break it down for you, right? They're, you're just looking at the outside perspective of, who they are at that moment, right? Right. So I think the thing is, is that we have to be able to break down our goals. Like, yeah. how are you going to realistically get there? You can't get there by tomorrow, right? Yeah, man. And shout out and, to y'all, man. Y'all got 250 subscribers, man. Last, hey, time man. I was here, <laughs> last time I was here, how many subscribers did you have? Oh, we had like 50. probably yeah we had fifty. <laughs> it takes time, bro. Takes Yo, time, actions man. become habits, bro. Yeah, and man. Before you know it, you're gonna have a thousand. But oh, you yeah. can't say, "Yo, I want ten thousand subscribers and not get to 250 first, bro." Yeah. Let me yeah. let me tell you, sidebar, quick, real quick. But, yeah, bro. So I got 105,000, man. Thank God, man. Like, yeah. I'm always thankful. It still seems surreal. I'm a humble guy, so I still, you know, it's so cool. But I realized it's a feat, man. So for, it took me a year. It took me a whole year to get 3,000 subscribers. A whole year to get 3,000 subscribers. And then after that, the snowball effect happened. Mm. But I I told myself, I made my goals smaller. I said, man, each week I'm gonna post two, three videos. Each month I'm gonna post eight to 10 videos. And I just stuck with that, bro. Because I wasn't seeing results for a whole year, man for a whole year and it took one video to blow up then things got rolling yeah. but if i would have gave up if you would have gave up yeah you would never would have got to where you at now i know i know man and i look at it like man you know yeah i look at it like now man the goal now is to try to get to a thousand subscribers man that's it keep it the small goal, the goal yeah the goal now is to like man like I thought about it just now. I was like, instead of telling one, I try to tell one person a day about the podcast. I was like, man, yep. maybe I could tell, maybe I could tell two people. Yeah, <laughs> yo, forget a thousand. Try to reach five hundred. Okay. Worry mm-hmm. about five hundred. Okay. Break it down. Break it down, bro. Try okay. to make it as simple as possible, man. Okay. You get to five. I promise you, you'll get to you'll get quicker quicker to a thousand if you worry about the five hundred first. Okay. Promise. That's a good point. That's yep. a good point. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rewrite my goal. I'm gonna rewrite my goal right after this. Yep. Okay. Thanks. All right. So you know, last question. You know, we 2023 just came in. So what is the number one thing in 2023 a man should focus on becoming his most attractive self? Man, that's a good question, man. Because <laughs> I, I feel like we all got different things going on in our lives. Um. So I'm gonna try to pick like something that's like I feel like every man should 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 reach out for this year, and um, that's to be I I feel like we need to be uh, more honest with ourselves, man. Um, and, and 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 like invest in that honesty and, and try our best to be honest with others. Um, I feel like a lot of us are struggling out here, man, because we're we're. Like I said earlier, we're living lies um, because we we're we're scared of what people may think. You know, we live in a PC culture, man. Like men are scared to talk nowadays because they feel like they're gonna get canceled. Um, and it's just a lot. It's a lot for us. And I, and I, and I, and I'm real honest with that. It's a lot for men. I, and I, I tell women that yo, like yo, you don't understand the things that men think. How we have to think five times before we say something because <laughs> the, we don't. <laughs> Bro, I asked a coworker the other day how old she was, and I realized I made a mistake. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. I was like, "Hold on, that's that's a bad thing." But then I thought about like, "Oh man, that is a thing," you know. But she can ask me how old I am without a problem, right? Yeah. So it's certain things like that I tell women all the time. Like, bro, you don't understand how much we have to think before we talk. 
But all of that considered, I want us to be more honest, man. I want us to be more honest with ourselves. If you don't like something, bro, don't do it, man. If you can't afford something, don't buy it. Don't lease it. Don't rent it. If 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 the girl that you're trying to attract doesn't like you, leave her alone, bro. She is not for you. It's things like that that we have to be honest with ourselves because there's brothers out here going broke for things that are making them broken. I like that. Please put that on the t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> it's real talk, bro. Like, yeah. man, we are out here getting messed up, bro, for things that don't, that that ain't good for us, man. So, and I'm working on this myself too. So 2023, bro, I'm saying no a lot more. <laughs> that includes family relatives. That includes homies, whatever, bro. Because if you if if you know what I'm about, then you're gonna support that. And you're gonna be there for me. You know what what not to try to get from me. Just like y'all, y'all are creators. When when y'all family or friends or whoever people see y'all doing a podcast. Yeah. They're going to automatically think like, oh, I can get things from them now mm. because they're on a certain point now. They're doing things that no one else around us is doing. Therefore, I can I can I can try to get something from them. No, say no. <laughs> say no. Yeah. And, yeah. You know, so it's just like because I like we have to capitalize our time, bro. We have to capitalize our time, man. We can't waste our time. We got to be honest with what we want and have everything around us in our world aligned with what we want, man. Otherwise, let's keep it moving, man. If yeah. that, if, and if that results in you losing friends, if that results in people uh, not liking you as much, so be it, man. Because as long as you are living a good life and you're living through good intention, there's nothing else you can do, bro. Not everyone's gonna like you. I, I, I always say, if everyone likes you, then you are fake. Mm. Mm. It is literally impossible for everyone to like you. You're going to, you're going to turn off people. Yeah. And, and it doesn't matter if you're giving out a good message. It doesn't get, matter if you're, you're giving out positivity, um, um, enrichment and education for our brothers out here. Someone's not going to like it. Yeah. Yeah. So be it. So well, what I meant this year to just capitalize on our time, be honest with ourselves and go along with it so man i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna uh uh my response to that is like it's it's what we preach all the time like you you've already touched on several of the things that we preach all the time in terms of like learn who you are and that will make it easier to to actually attract the people that you not just want in your life, but need in your life. Like the, the doors will open up. Like the, those people will, will start to orbit around you without you even doing too much. As long as you stick to your path, to your mission, to your, to your, to feeding your soul, so to speak. And I think, um, I think what, like the honesty portion of it, because you know, in keeping with the theme of the entire, uh, this entire discussion, like the, the shiny things, some people will say, well, I do. I am being honest with myself when I say I want a nice car. I am being honest with myself when I say I want a, a woman with a, with a nice body. I am being honest with myself when I, when I say I want, you know, a million dollars, you know, that's, that's honest. But like you said, is that, is that the core of what you want or is that just a uh, is that a what's a good is that a perk of what you want or is that actually what you want right because if like you you say you want to you want to create content okay is is having a million dollars what you want or is it a perk of Oh, I create dope content and I was able to earn a million dollars. Right. Yeah. You know, is, uh, is it, oh, I want to, I want a woman with a, with a nice body or is it, I want, I want to live a disciplined life and I want somebody who is also disciplined physically, mentally, emotionally, and all of that sort of stuff. And so as a, as a, 
as a feature of that, you stay in a space of, hey, we are healthy people living healthy lives, and these are the kinds of people I attract. Right. That sort of yeah. thing, as opposed to, oh, uh, I want a six pack and and you know all of that sort of stuff. Right. These these need to be features, not these aren't the goal of the life we're living. These are benefits of the life we're living. Right. More than yeah. anything. I will add to that to that to the point where like man I just it made me realize as far as like and I'll equate this podcast the show as far as being an example right before I started this show right you know me me and Jay would always have conversations of like it was always a point of like man what will people think of us during this show will people think of us as being a certain type of people to the point where like they're not going to be interested in it right so like fast forward today right i always make a joke and say man those same people that probably don't like who we are or hate us they're still listening right and even, <laughs> yeah yeah and, and, and even some of those people that may not like us they're silently listening and now they're engaging to a point where it's like man i can relate to what these guys are saying right and my point is, is that you may not have those same type of people that not like that may not like what you're saying, may not like what you're doing. You may not have them in your circle, but they're listening, right? Mm -hmm. You can pinpoint and resonate with those people that may not like you or may not like your message, but they can relate to your message. And my my point is, is that people that don't like you, right? It's okay. It's all right. You know what I mean? They're listening, right? They may not support you because they don't want to expose themselves and make a change for themselves, right? But I can honestly say today that at this point, getting to a certain number of subscribers, that's cool and all, right? Mm -hmm. But I think at the end of the day, I want to be able to help people, yep. right? Mm -hmm. Help my help myself, right? Yep. And that's kind of why I kind of, took a break from putting out content all the time, putting out reels all the time, because it was like, man, I want to take a sit, uh, a, a step back to say, you know, what am I going through right now? Who, who can I help to where when things aren't going bad, you know, there isn't a lot of, uh, there's a lot more peace in my life. I feel a lot more balanced. I feel a lot more like at, at happiness, at a piece of happiness, right? Mm -hmm. So how can I still help other brothers, help other men on the mission to say, dude, that's okay to feel balanced. Like, don't worry about the people that don't like you, right? Don't worry about the people that, you know what I mean? If they don't like you, that's not your fault. That's just either they come to a purpose of understanding your message or they don't, right? That's just how it is, Right but stop letting those type of people in your circle. And that's, that's just point blank. You know what I mean? Um, and I think in 2023, I know it's been, has only been a few days going in. I feel like, you know, for me, my attractive self is to continue to not only better myself, stay on a, the balanced field, the peace field, but also help others, help our brothers. You know what I mean? Um, articulate the message a lot more. And like Seal said a couple minutes ago, man, we'll get to those 500 subscribers, man. There yeah, are people man. out there understanding, man. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, you know, we're going to get to the favorite part of the show, man. And uh, I was telling Seals before the show, man, this is one of those times where um, people really love this message on the last one. Um, so we're going to give him the floor for three to five minutes again for the wrapping up session with Seals the Man, man. You got the floor. Here you go. It's all yours. Dang, pressure, pressure. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, it's just, it's just, it's just real talk, though. Um, was, it, was did you want to stay on the topic of validation, like how? Hey, hey, man, it's it's completely yours, man. Uh, you can stay on validation, attraction. You can give people a new message, and I'll also edit this out, man. Don't worry. Um, you can say say whatever you like in in ter terms of that. Some goals you would like people to maybe. Some things, some goals that you have into 2023, maybe they want to incorporate into their lives, man. This is completely, you know, whatever you would like to say. Yeah, man. So um, for, for 2023, man, because this video is in the beginning of the year, I just feel like uh, we have to start this off right, man. Like, um, 
I used to hate the term uh, New Year's re resolution. Mm -hmm. I think I think it's so <laughs> it's it's temporary, right? Because yeah. even if you was to do your New Year's resolution for this year, it might change next year. Like that's that's not what we're about. So instead, I like to say new life resolution. Um, what are you going to do today, starting this year, that's going to change your life for the for the forever, for the better man forever, man. And 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 just I just want to say to our brothers out here, just to not give up, man. Um, don't throw the towel in. Like you know, me and Jay was talking about earlier today. When you, even when you're at the bottom, bro, that's the bottom. That's that's the biggest blessing I ever I ever had, man. There was a time in my life, bro. <laughs> I did some things and 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 could have done some things that I feel like God stepped in and stopped me from doing, um, because I wouldn't be here today, if 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 whether it was in the graveyard or I was in jail or just not doing this type of content because of this mindset, I wouldn't be here today. Um, so for so my message today is just to like don't give up, bro, and that there is always a yin and yang to your life, like you how you was talking about Phil, like. There's balance, bro. There's balance. When you think your life is going terribly wrong, when it's storming every day, when you're in the, when you're in the dumps, when when everything is going against you, just realize that the universe has to balance. Your life has to balance. Not saying it's going to happen fast. Not saying it's even going to happen in a year, but I bro, that is the law of life. It will change. It will flip. As my grandma always say, there's a sun outside of that storm. There, the storm doesn't just overtake the sky. It's, it doesn't become the storm. It is under the sun. Your hope is on the other side of that storm. You just have to wait it out. You gotta, you gotta work on yourself. You gotta become better to be able to take the storm, man. You gotta be able to endure that storm. You gotta, we gotta, we gotta build ourselves and build the brothers around us so that we can do it as a group. Like we were talking about earlier, we're not alone. And that's the biggest blessing of life, that you're not alone. Um, that's why platforms like this are important, because it shows that we're not alone. You might be thinking that you're, what you're going through is unique to you. 99 times out of it, it's not. It's not. We're all going through the same thing. But as men, we were built, we were programmed to keep everything in. So now you got a whole bunch of men going through similar things not realizing that we're in a group doing, going through the same thing. Once we learn how to talk and communicate and realize like, dog, you going through that too? That's crazy, <laughs> me too. And now look what we just created. We just created magic, bro. We yeah. just, and now we're on, to, uh, uh, on a way to a solution, right? So we don't give up, man. There's always gonna be a, it's gonna be a break and there's gonna be ups and downs. There's another thing, right? Um, that equates to like and, and metaphorically speaking uh our problems in our lives when you when you when you pull back an arrow on a bow like you're pulling it back and that's that represents all the all the mess you're going through bro eventually that arrow has to shoot off <laughs> eventually you going to blow up bro you're going to shoot off but just keep holding on bro keep holding on eventually it's gonna pew! and that's and that's what i went through in my life bro i i there were times, man, there were times I felt like, yo, man, maybe uh, we're in a matrix and I can start over or something or <laughs> end up in a better life or something to re get reincarnated to something better than this because this ain't it, bro. But, but then I realized, man, this is it, man. This is you. You have every resource, tool, everything you need. You just have to dig in yourself, find yourself, identify yourself, and then you will become your own hero. No one's, no one's like, there, there isn't, there is no better hero than, the, than being a hero for yourself. Because think about it. If you go through the problems in your life, someone can save you every single time. They could be different people saving you every single time. But guess what? You're going to go back to doing the same things that put you in that predicament. You're going to, every time you get saved, you're going to go right back to doing that same thing and end up in a position again. But guess what? When you become your own hero, when you save yourself, those things will never happen again. You won't need saving because you saved yourself. This year, I feel like we got to be all about us. We are all we got. And therefore, we cannot give up on us. That's it, man. That's all I got to say. So never give up. 
there's always a, 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 the sunshine outside of that storm. Just keep holding on, keep becoming better, and let's become the best version of ourselves, man. Let's make the most out of this life. It's man, different. what a what a what a message, man! What an amazing amazing message, man! Really that, appreciate that's you. That's a great way to start on twenty twenty three. Yeah, I'm man, gonna... let's do it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, definitely, man, definitely. I got some re reevaluating to do on my end. Uh, really, really appreciate you coming on, Seals, man. Uh, really, really appreciate you uh, supporting us again. Um, please, please make sure you guys subscribe to Seals the Man. His information is going to be down in the description. Man, his new Night Vibes uh, series right now on his channel is amazing, brother. I, I tell you, man, you have you find always find new ways to innovate, man. Uh, really, really appreciate that. His content is amazing, man. Always speaking on purpose and self awareness and, and building yourself first. Uh, really, really great person, man. Like I say, was one of very one of the very first guests on this show, man. Really appreciate it. Uh, make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe on the page. Also follow Sales the Man on Instagram, man. Also amazing person, great content there. Also really appreciate that. Make again, make sure you guys like, share, subscribe to the page, follow Sales the Man. His information will be down in the description. I'm philosophical from the Last Rock Podcast. I'm out. <laughs>